And I am back with the part 3 on the mobile base station teardown. What I have here is a single band antenna panel, which is a Catherine 1800 MHz panel. As you can see, it also states it has 0 to 15 degrees tilt, which we I will discuss uh, later on. It is a dual port antenna, which means that it has a main and a diversity antenna, which is 90 degrees polarized in regard to each other. On the left, we have the uh, adjustment port for the remote electrical tilt control, which is this small unit. As you can see, uh, it's also called real tilt electronic adjuster or remote control unit. What this does is, we will take it apart later, but it's basically just a small motor that can turn the shaft here. And I'll show inside how it ad adjusts. With the cover removed, we can now see that there are these dipole antennas. Basically, there are, seem to be four different types. Here you can see there are some extra um, shielding around the inside. The next antenna seems similar, but uh, without the shielding. Whereas the next couple of antennas have a different geometry. And if we look from above, we can see this one is slightly uh, trape trapezoid formed, and there are some kind of coupling link between the two. The same goes for the next one. We have a kind of coupling link between them and also two different geometries. If we move on, we continue to have some of the same as we saw at the bottom. This antenna has a total of 20 dipole pairs. And if we look at the back, here we can actually see the, the face shifters, which are there are two of them, one for each import port. And what they do is they can uh, they shift the signal 90 degrees between the two dipole pairs. But what is also another neat feature which makes these um, remotely controllable is the remote electrical tilt function. As you can see here, there is a little plastic knot which is controlled by this white plastic band at the bottom of the picture, which goes down to the crank at the end. What's, what this does is that it can actually adjust the phase shift in these two phase shift modules by 0 to 15 degrees. On the back, we can see how each antenna dipole is connected from two different face, uh, face shifters. Here, the red and the white. If we take a closer look on the other side, you can see the two wires coming through and the signal bridging over. So you have a dipole from these two elements and a dipole from these two elements. With the phase shifter taken apart, we can see that we have the antenna input here, and we have the outputs for the different antenna dipole pairs at the sides. The input is capacitively coupled through this lever to these paths that goes out to the antennas, and the adjustment is simple, a matter of ratio between one and the other, amounting to how much the lever is turned. The big advantage of this is that there is no physical tilting needed for the antenna because the phase shift itself can be used to move the lobe of the antenna up and down. So this is actually moving the electromagnetic field instead of moving the antenna itself. Inside the tilt control motor box, we can see here we have a five pin connector. Inside, we can see uh, to the left, we have a lot of uh, protection uh, against lightning, I guess. There's a whole lot of inductors and uh, power supply design in the middle. And we have an uh, unknown microcontroller sitting here. All part numbers here are pretty much unidentifiable. 
On the back side, we have some diodes, TVS, etc., controllers, and a single ST IC down here that I could probably look up. The connector to the motor is a uh, eight pin connector. And if we take a look at the little motor itself, the black part is uh, the gearbox, and uh, the, the back part here is uh, the motor itself. If I turn it slightly, it ca I can uh, feel that it could be a stepper motor or some kind of other precision motor, but it's not just a simple DC motor. This has feedback and positioning and stuff. 